right, so I'm looking at the empirical rule again that we just finished up on the last video. So remember the empirical rule is for symmetric data and it tells us the expected percentage of data within a few, uh, one or two or three standard deviations of the mean. And we can expect our minimum value to be um, two standard deviations lower and our um, expected maximum value to be two standard deviations above. And Triola uses the word usual to describe this range of data. Now the range rule of thumb, remember, use that idea of those four standard deviations to give our kind of our va variation of our data. Kind of like the idea of what the range does for us, right? Our, our range um, tells us how span, much span we have in the data and then we're dividing it into four even increments, saying that that should approximately give us a standard deviation. So now let's talk about what we would use if we were looking at skewed data. With skewed data, we use, instead of the empirical rule to tell us a percentage, we use Chebyshev's theorem. Chebyshev's theorem says that one minus um, one over k squared percent of the data will lie within k standard deviations of the mean. And k always has to be greater than one because otherwise we end up with um, zero. And that doesn't make much sense. So we're going to apply, first of all, the range rule of thumb and say, um, OK, well, if we have a mean here and a standard deviation here, um, what would be the smallest, low, the smallest usual value and the largest usual value? In other words, what's the minimum and the maximum values that we would expect to see? So we're looking here at this example on page 10 of my notes. A bookstore sales receipts gives a mean of 61.35 and a standard deviation of 28.658. What would you expect the minimum and the maximum values of, in sales to be for this bookstore? So what we're going to do is work going to say, okay, well, our minimum, we would expect to be two standard deviations below. So we're going to take the mean and we're going to subtract two times this S value. So substituting this in, this gives us 61.35 and then minus two times 28.658. And that will be our expected minimum value. And our expected maximum value is going to be that mean x bar and then plus two standard deviations above or 61.35 and then plus two times 28.658. So what we want to do first of all is just multiply two times 28.658. So 22.658 times two equals, and I get that as 57.316, so 57.316, and that value is going to be the same exact value down here, 57.316. So now I'll add and subtract that from 61, so 61.35 minus that answer, um, so 57, um, so 61.35 minus what the answer was that I got, I get 4.034 uh, from that, and those are in dollars. And then if I add it to this, 61.35, and I add this time, 57.316, I'm going to get 112. So my minimum values that I would expect to see would be approximately, um, oops, no, that's, I don't think that's right. Let me see, 61.35 plus, 57.316. That would be 118. Sorry, I hit a bu wrong button on my calculator. And so this would give me 118. 118.666. 666. 
and that would be what the value I would expect for my maximum. So the low end, 4.0434, high end, 118.666. Now, on these values, one of the things that you could do on this is you could kind of gauge if you were a manager um, on your receipts that come in for the day, right? I expect it to be somewhere between four and $118. So if some days that you see some really low ones or some really high ones, then that wouldn't be a really good thing if it happens on a consistent basis when maybe a certain person is working. Um, you might have some suspicions there. 